five to one, number eight, Native Cove. 11 to two, number 10, Rusty Fellow. 10 to one, number three, Daddy Dancer. Number 13, Turley Gale. 16s for number five, Funny Farm. And also 16s from 25, Fanyon de Nuri, who's been uh, supported at odds. 25 to one, number one, Lucky Ross. And number six, My Best Man. 33 to one, number nine, that's Perfect Light. And 100 to one, number 11, the loose-running Saxon Fair, who are... So making their way towards the 14th, and as they turn up the home straight again to come on towards the next, and jumping it, it's still perfect light from Storm of Gold. In fact, Funny Farm is still going, but a fence behind this leader, perfect light from Storm of Gold, and then in third place, Native Cove. Then comes Nar Then Lad, it was a very crooked jump again by Turley Gale, who keeps jumping away to the left. Over the next, and a mistake by the leader, got in too close, perfect light. Storm of Gold and Native Cove, and now then Lad and Rusty Fellow. Daddy Dancer's getting closer in the red colors. Uh, Funny Farm has now been pulled up as they take that fence. That was number 17, so 18 is the water. Lucky Ross is the one who's completely tailed off. And it's perfect light, Storm of Gold with the red cap, the dark green colours of Native Cove, the yellow of Nar, then Lad, then Rusty Fellow on the inside, Daddy Dancer, the bright red, red with the yellow cap is my best man, then Fanny and Danuri and Turley Gale, and Lucky Ross has just managed to jump it, but uh, way behind them, starting out on the final circuit now in the Ludlow Gold Cup, and still forcing the pace is perfect light from... Storm of Gold, Native Cove, then Nar Then Lad, Daddy Dancer, and Rusty Fellow, and these six are clear by about eight lengths from my best man, Fanny and Danuri, the hard-ridden Turley Gale, Lucky Ross has been pulled up. Going on down towards the seventh from home, and still perfect light, Storm of Gold, Nar Then Lad, and Daddy Dancer, and Native Cove, who's being urged along, but still only three lengths behind the leader, disputing fourth place. Rusty Fellow is getting a bit outpaced. Good jump there from Perfect Light. Storm of Gold is a length away. Then Nar, then Lad and Native Cove and Daddy Dancer. Rusty Fellow getting further behind and tailed off of Fanny and Danuri, my best man, and Turley Gale. At the one before the open ditch, Perfect Light, Storm of Gold, Native Cove, Daddy Dancer, and Nar, then Lad. The open ditch now, Perfect Light, Storm of Gold, Native Cove, small mistake, Daddy Dancer, and Nar, then Lad. Getting further and further behind is Rusty Fellow. My best man still continuing with Fanny and Danuri, but Turley Gale has been pulled up. So they're going now towards the fifth from home, and it's still just perfect light from Daddy Dancer now into second. Storm of Gold right behind them in third place. A length or less would cover those three. And now for the first time, they head perfect light and it's daddy dancer who's gone on with storm of gold so daddy dancer and storm of gold they quickly go clear clear of native cove perfect light appears to have blown up now having galloped well for a long way now then lad is dropping away very quickly as well and the others are about a furlong behind but storm of gold takes it up now by a neck or so as they make the turn towards the Final line of four fences, Daddy Dancer, Robert Biddlecombe on the outside of Storm of Gold and Joe Foster as they turn into the home straight. They're a long way in front of Native Cove. They take the fourth from home, Daddy Dancer, perhaps fractionally the leader there from Storm of Gold. This is the open ditch, three out they come to now. It's Daddy Dancer and Storm of Gold, and Storm of Gold has bulldozed the fence and completely demolished it. Well, that fence couldn't have been very strong. Native Cove only had to hop a couple of inches in the air to get through that uh, obstacle and as they jump the next and uh, the leader has fallen there daddy dancer storm of gold who had every chance at the time is in front perfect lights taken a heavy fall at the third from home but it's storm of gold coming to jump the last native cove is staying on but storm of gold has got a six length lead native cove is trying hard on the flat though not quite over yet storm of gold but native cove is very weary and storm of gold just a bit of tail waving here we've seen that from him before but he goes up to the line in front, Storm of Gold for Pippa Cook, Chrissy Elliott and Joe Foster. And I think they've had uh, three runners and three winners together now. In second place was Native Cove, and they were a long way clear of Nar Then Lad, who's going to take third.
favourite to winning, beating number eight, Native Cove, at seven to two, and third, a distant third, number seven, Nar Then Lad, at seven to one. Eleven ran in.